All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakathea Hawa, Barakathea Hawa Shai, Barakathea Hawa, Barakathea Hawa Shai, Barakathea Hawa, Barakathea Hawa Shai, Call Hala Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And uh, first things first, um, I have the uh, Copyright Disclaimer Act up because I'm going to be playing a, a, a quick little portion of a Kevin Samuels video. I really hate to do it. You know, I hate playing, uh, you know, certain clips because, you know, you'll get flagged. But, you know, um, it's only going to be it's going to be maybe like a minute long and it's going to be for strictly educational purposes, not for uh, monetary uh, purposes, strictly for edification. So that's why I got the uh, Copyright Disclaimer Act up, right? But, um, yeah, I was watching, uh, I was listening to this, you know, watching, listening, whatever, this uh, Kevin Samuels um, episode, and uh, he had a very valid point. You know, he had a very, a very valid point. And, uh, Salaki, bear with me. Today, my allergies are, are like, really kicking my ass, so, but, uh, you know, uh, a, a plethora of scriptures was just was just coming to me. So I said, uh, I have to do this uh, lesson. Like I said, I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. But um, uh, like I said, just bear with me. I hopefully I get everything out. I got a bunch of scriptures. Hopefully I can hit them all and I get to get the uh, main point out. But um, I, I'm going to let Kevin Samuel speak and, and I'll come back. All right. You know, so like I said, again, I had the uh, copyright disclaimer act up. So, you know, this is for edification. Okay. And I already know it's probably this uh, topic is going to probably get a lot of people butt hurt because it's it's um, it's 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 involving the woman, okay, in particular the black woman Eve, okay, you know. So we know anytime you speak about the woman, you know the whole world gets in an uproar. But it, I'm just speaking facts, and I'm bringing out the words of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai found within these holy scriptures. You know, I'm gonna, and I'm going to try to let the Lord speak, you know, so there is no qualms, no quarrels. If you got a beef, take it up with your how about Shimmy, how about Shai, take it up with your maker, okay? There's an order to things, okay? You know, so, but anyway, without further ado, uh, let me let Kevin Samuels come in, like I said, about a minute, a minute, and, uh, and I'll hit, jump into the scriptures, all right? All right, here we go. This is why I say black men, men in general, black men in particular, therapy is so important. Therapy, therapy, therapy. Deal with your mama issues because I said it Friday in that closing monologue, the level of abuse that goes on in the black community that goes on at that goes untalked about at the hands of far too many women that are mothers. We put all this burden on the men, all this burden on the fathers, but since the 90s, Shahara Zad Ali has been, we've been talking about this. Iyana Van Zandt come 180 from the time when she was the Yoruba priestess on Donahue checking Miss Sister Ali to say, black women, you're out of order. That, that's the point. That's the point right there. And the elders, our elder apostles have been preaching this forever, you know. You know, that's one of the key foundations, you know, one of the core principles about the men of Great Millstone, okay, that we don't uh, curtail, we don't, we don't pedestalize the woman. The woman is completely out of order. And, and, you know, we love our women. We love our women. We love our mothers. We love our wives. We love our daughters. But we know it goes back to the garden. It goes back to that serpent. You know, I got a bunch of scriptures and I got a couple points that I'm going to hit. I don't want to write this out. Like I said, it'll be edifying, you know, through the Rakak Wadash. But, yeah, the woman is out of order and it goes back to Eve, the garden. That deal that she made with the, with the serpent. He beguiled her. He tricked her. And what he did, what did uh, the serpent trick Eve with? Power, okay. And if you can uh, receive it, 
Esau Edom, uh, you know, the serpent represents Esau Edom, okay? You see? You know, that's the, the enmity between uh, thy seed and, you know? You know, that's that's us, you know? You know? Esau Edom represents the serpent, man, okay? You know, if you can receive it spiritually, okay? You know, and Esau Edom in the modern era you know, fast forward to now, has empowered the woman. He has made her a god. He came through on that deal. You know, he came, he he, he beguiled her, he tricked her because he told her that she wasn't going to die. But, you know, he, he did, he, he kept good on that. He, he empowered her. And well, how did he empower her? Through feminism, through women's rights. Okay, and that's what I'm going to go through, you know, I don't want to rot in this lesson. Okay, so without further ado, let's let the Lord speak. Enough of me blibbity blabbing, and uh, here we go. Again, like Kevin Samuel said, the women are out of order, you know, and that's why this whole thing is out of whack. Okay, and who did that? Esau Edom did that. Okay, he empowered the woman. Okay, you know, and it destroyed the families. All right, so um. Let's see. Uh, where do I want to start? Let's start. Let's start with First Timothy chapter uh, two and fourteen. Straight to the point. Two and fourteen. Salakia. Straight to the point. Uh, uh, well, we could start at we could start at eleven, because this shows you how this whole play, first and foremost how things are out of order. Because uh, like because like I said, there's an order to things. You know, it's, it, it, the order was established by the Creator of the universe. Yeah, how about Shimi? How was Shai? Okay. All right, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the world, the earth, okay, the universe. He set up an order, okay, and Esau Edom has broken that order. He's turned everything upside down, okay. You see, so First Timothy two and eleven. Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, because Adam was made and Eve was made to be a helpmate for Adam, to help Adam, to comfort Adam. The man, Eve was made for, the woman was made for the man, not the man for the woman. Okay, that's the order of things. They're not equal. Okay, the man is above the woman. There's an order. Okay. Again, so, so it says, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man. So let's look at that. Let's look up the word usurp, all right? Usurp, because I got that definition, all right? This is usurp, right? It says, to take a position of power or importance, illegally or by force, and it was illegally. Well, it was given to you right now because the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, okay? Job 9 and 24, okay? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, who, where and who is he? And that the answer to that question is Esau Edom. And he, where is he? He's in his power seat. He's ruling. Okay. You see? You see? And the Lord gave the earth over to him. All right. Going back to Isaac. Isaac blessed him, you know, with the, with the sword and the fatness of the earth. And that's how Esau Edom has been ruling. All right. He's in the power seat. He sets the laws. Okay. He enforces the laws. All right. And the laws that he's been setting are wicked. He turned everything upside down. OK. It's no big secret. It's obvious. OK. Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. OK. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made it, not, he may be not. Or shall the thing framed of him that framed it. He have no understanding. Okay, the point of the matter is you're turning up things upside down. All right, it shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. All right, you see. Let's get another one. Um, uh, we know it. Isaiah twenty-four and five. Uh, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws. They broke the laws. The laws of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, the law, statutes, and commandments found within the scriptures, the ordinances. Okay, it says they have transgressed the laws, 
changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. He turned everything upside down, topsy-turvy. Esau Edom did it because he is the wicked. Per Malachi 1 and 4, he's in the power seat. The Lord gave the earth over to him. Okay? And, and what did he do? He empowered the woman. Okay? Let's see. Uh, Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord Yahweh hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. She shall usurp authority. She's going to usurp authority. She's going to take power illegally or by force. Okay? You see? It says, take the place of someone in a position of power. And Esau Edom did that through feminism. All right? Let's see. This is a feminism, right? It says the advoc the advocacy of women's rights on the basis of equality of the sexes. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see on Wikipedia, which I feel like I had in the radio. It says uh, it says uh, feminism is a range of social political movements and I ideologies that aim to define and establish the political, economic, personal, and social equality of the sexes. Feminism incorporates the position that societies prioritize the male point of view and that the women are treated unjustly within, the, within those societies. Uh, let's see. Feminism, mo feminism movements have campaigned have campaigned and continue to campaign for women's rights. So let's see what women's rights says. Salakia. Uh, slide that over. It says uh women's women's rights off of Wikipedia it says are the rights and entitlements claimed for women and girls worldwide. They form the basis for the women's rights movement in the 19th century and the feminist movements during the 20th and 21st centuries. In some countries, these rights are institutionalized or supported by law. You see? He changed the law. He transgressed the law. He put laws on the books. He gave them rights. He empowered them. He made the woman a god. All right? God means power. He gave her power. To, to Power over the man. You see? Esau Edom did that. You see? It says, in some countries, these rights are institutionalized or supported by law, local custom, and behavior, whereas in others, they are ignored and suppressed. Uh, let's see. Let's jump down. Uh, da -da -da -da. Issues commonly associated with notions of women's rights include the rights of bodily integrity. Salakia, like I said, my allergies, I got to keep pausing it, man. Salakia. It says uh, women's rights include the right of bodily integrity, right? Meaning that uh, they could wear it. It's their body. They could do what they want with it. They could dress how they want to dress, right? Because the scriptures tell you that a woman should be dressed in modest apparel, okay? But through the years, through feminism, what, what you notice, the women have become more scantily clad, more they dress more and more provocative, a woman can damn near walk around butt-ass naked now, you know, you know. It used to be the, the dresses were down to the ankles, man. Then it went to the calves. Then it went to, like, the knees, you know, above the knees, to the, you know, to the thighs. Now, now you got butt people walking around with their butt cheeks sh sh popping out. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? But that was through women's rights, you know. Feminism, all right. Issues commonly associated with the notions of women's rights include the rights of the right of bodily integrity and and autonomy to be free from sexual violence, to vote, to hold public office, which is a definite no no, to enter into legal contracts, to have equal rights in family law, which that's a lie. It's not equal rights in family law. The woman has more rights, uh, you know, over the man. Okay, and they know that the Esau Edom empowered them through the court system. Okay, you see, through these adhesion contracts, these birth certificates, you know, these marriage licenses, they all in favor to what the state and to the woman. Okay, you see, and to have equal rights in family law, to work, 
to fair wages or equal pay, to have reproductive rights, to own property, and to education, okay? And to digress, like I said, that all came about through uh, feminism, okay? Women's rights, feminism, all right? That's, that's how that all came about, all right? So let's go back to the scriptures. It says, um, Jeremiah 31 and 22, How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For the Lord Yahweh hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a, a man. All right, so she she she's stepping over the man. She don't need no man no more. She's independent. She's single. You know, she's you know, she's a strong so-called black woman. All right? And what did what, what what who did that? Esau Edom. Okay? You see? He allowed the woman to usurp authority over the man. Okay? You see, and that's completely out of order. Like I like I brought out in 1 Timothy 2 and 12, but I suffer a woman but I suffer not a woman to teach, all right? Now you got teachers, you got, um, you got judges, you know, you got all, you know, you know what I'm saying? You got presidents, you know, you know, that, that's out of order according to the scriptures, okay? But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. So that's the point of that. Uh, and this is the order set up by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, the power of the universe, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the power of Yasharala, you tribes. Okay, First Corinthians eleven and three. But I would have you know that the head, right, the head, the top of every man is Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. Okay, see, so that's the order. It's Yahweh, then it's Yahweh Shai, then it's the man, the Israelite man, okay, then it's the Israelite woman. That's the order, okay, but Esau Edom put the woman over the man. He gave her power, rights, okay, He, you know, authority, and that goes back to the garden. It all stems back to the garden. Then I had to pull that. Uh, Yeah, Salak, here it is. This is Genesis chapter 3, verse 5. Uh, matter of fact, I'll start at 2. Genesis 3 and 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, and like I said, if you could receive it, fast forward, spiritually the serpent represents Esau. Okay? The same spirit, the same vibration. Just like the same vibration that's in Esau, Edom, is the same vibration that was in Cain, the same spirit. Okay? How Cain wanted to kill his brother. He, how he did, actually. He, he killed his brother Abel with that. He had hatred. He had envy. The same thing with Esau. Esau hates his brother Jacob. He wanted to destroy his brother Jacob. So he came up with a, with a, with a, with a, with a plan to do that. You know? He orchestrated, he concocted a plan. And that was feminism. And it, it did a wonderful job. But it backfired. It, it destroyed... <laughs> The, the whole the whole civilite it, it destroyed it destroyed every every household not just the Israelite household it destroyed the Moabite household it destroyed uh, the Edomite household it destroyed all these households man okay because what Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand and it made the nations drink drunk you know so the the, the, the earth the earth is drunk on this Babylon juice and therefore the nations now they're mad these people are gone. You know, they're drunken on the ways of this world, of, of chiefly America, Babylon the Great. You know, you see? And that all it stems back to the garden. But like I said, it, it starts with Eve. Eve is out of order. And I got that scripture too. Jake is going off too, all right? I'm not giving the man a bly, but it, but it all stems from Eve, okay? You know, even the Lord said that, which I'm going to get that also. It's a Genesis 3 and 2. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat. Because she knew right, she knew, she knew, she knew what she was supposed to do, but she decided not to. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh have said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die, which he lied at that point, you will die. Because you, now you're transgressing the law. Because the tree represented knowledge, right? The the knowledge of these heathens, these different gods, the, the, you know, the ways outside of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, you you get you were given an order not to do something and you, you broke it. You see, 
You see? So now the wages of sinner is death. And what's sin? Transgression of the law. You broke the law, what the Lord told you not to do. You see? So he did lie. She, uh, 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 he, he didn't lie about the dying part, but he, he, he told the truth about making her a power. You are going to die. Because we sin, we die. We, we, these curses befall us, and we ultimately die. That's the ultimate judgment. Death. Okay? You see? So he lied about that part. So it says, And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, which you will. For Yahweh doth know, in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, which is true. And that's ultimately why everything happened. We had to learn wickedness to understand and truly appreciate righteousness. You had to know wrong. How, do you, how are you going to understand what's, what's right if you really don't know what wrong is? Okay? So we had to go through that fire to, you know, we got to go through the adversity to get to the kingdom. You see, we, we had to fall. It was predestined. The Lord made it that way. Okay? It's his movie. It's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's movie. We're all just characters. Okay? You see? And, and Jacob is the protagonist. Esau, Edom is the antagonist. For Yahweh have doth know that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened and ye shall be as gods. And notice, that's a lowercase g. Because there's only one God, one true God, one true power, you know, and that's Yahweh, okay? You see? But there are other lesser powers, okay? You see, we're gods, as it says. We we uh, we are God, but we shall die like men, okay? You see? You see? But but like I said, he right now Esau, Edom made uh, the woman a God, you see? For Yahweh doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And the woman, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, it, 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 what what he what he showed her, what he told her, it pleased her. You know, seeing her over the man. You know, you know, it pleased her. You see, you see, you see, and the, and that it was pleasant to the eyes. And a tree and a tree to be desired to make one wise, and that's what she thinks she's wise. She's indoctrinated in, in this man's in this man's society. She goes to his uh his um so-called prestigious co colleges, gets these degrees. I'm a PhD, you know. You know, now she thinks she's over the man, you know. He, Esau puts her in these high high positions, positions of power, you know, and it completely destroys the, the balance of things. Okay, you see, not to mention you had with, uh, with especially the black woman, uh, Section 8 housing and food stamp, public assistance. You know, they would go through it and actually force the woman to kick the man out or to put him on child support if, if she's getting any type of monetary benefits. You know, he, you know, so all that empowered the woman, you see, and it was all by design. You see, you see, you see. But he, that's what he, that's what that's what she saw. It was it was good. It was gonna make her a god. It was gonna empower her. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and it was pleasant to to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. You see, and that's the point that I wanted out of that. But but at the end of the day, the Lord said said this. And remember, the Lord's ways are higher than our ways, man. Who are you to argue with the Lord? This is what the Lord said. 1 Timothy 2 and 14. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. So Eve was going off. Throughout all of that, Eve went off. Eve is, the, Eve is, the, Eve is out of order. Eve is the problem. That's why I went through all of this to show you Eve is out of order. It goes back to the garden. It goes deep. If you want to go deep like Jake, like this, you know, you going deep, which it ain't really that deep. It's simple. It's plain, but it's only plain to the elect, the chosen, the chosen few. Eve is out of order. And fast forward to modern day times, Eve is still out of order. You seeing the repercussions of, of the deal she made with the serpent in the garden. OK, that's what you're seeing. These household, these households destroyed. The man destroyed. You see the complete demasculization of the man, the so-called black man. Okay, but not just the black man, the tribes, all you tribes. Okay, you know. But I'm just saying black, cause you know that's how the the common, that's how they see the black, the black, but which were not black. 
with different shades of brown. But that's a whole other can of worms. But hey, it, it, these are the these are the, the chief markers upon us that we can identify ourselves with, man. You know, it's it's high time to wake up out of sleep, man, out of the sunken place. And 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 a lot of you men are stuck on because uh, uh, the black woman beat the shit out of you as a child, and he and she done you know. She done painted a picture of your daddy, and the, the whole society uh, coddles her, man. So you 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 think she's a god, like it says the black woman is god, right? You done made her a god. You you know you accepted that. You ate of the tree. You, you know you don't want to get out of that. You put her on a pedestal. You worship her. You know, you see, and she's completely out of order. You know, you, you know she's. You're supposed to be the head. You're so she's not supposed to be over you. You ain't supposed to be no goddamn simp, okay? Genesis 49 and 9. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he couched as a lion. And as an old lion. So not only is he stooped down, he's couched down, right? He's, couch he's an old lion, man. That's Jake. Especially you so-called Negroes, man. The black, so-called black, you completely defeminized, de effeminate, sub submissive to to the woman, your mother, you, you know the you know you, that just, that's been instilled in you, ingrained in you by the abuse you've taken throughout your whole goddamn life from your from from the woman, you know, and it's been um, re-emphasized through through society, man. Okay, it says who shall rouse them up. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to rouse him up when you come back to remembrance to who you truly are. You see? You see? That's what's going to stir up your, your mind. is going to be brought back to remembrance. You see? And the, you're going to be able to identify what the fuck is going off. That, that witchcraft is going to wear off of you because that's all it is is witchcraft. You know, you've been indoctrinated in this Babylonian society, man. You see? You know, and Eve is completely joined to the hip with, with Esau Edom. That's her that's that's her daddy, man. You know? And she wanna lead you down the path of destruction with her. You know, cause she don't give a damn because she's in power. She could do whatever the hell she wants. She could jump from rod to rod. She can man the you know what I'm saying? She could do she could do whatever the hell she wants in this society. This is her heaven. This is your hell. And Esau Edom designed it that way. Okay? To destroy the Yasharala, to destroy the to destroy us, man. Because the way to get to us is through the man, okay. But how do you bind the strong man? You know, by through his woman. You get to the man through the woman. You see, he, he, Esau really got a bone to pick with Jacob, the man. But he got it. The only way he can get through us is through our women. That's our weakness. That's our kryptonite. You see, and 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 she's our enemy. She's our enemy. She's our number one adversary, right along with. Uh, Esau Edom, okay? Don't get it twisted, all right? Salakia, man. I just got to keep it a buck, man. You know, so I don't be like to go raw like that, but that's what it is, man. It is what it is. Job 39 and uh, you don't like it, take it up with your maker. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This ain't my words. These are the Lord's words. Job 39 and 16, talking about you women, especially Eve. She is hardened against her young ones. As though they were not hers. She aborts them left and right, man. Say she doesn't. The, they say the most dangerous uh, uh, place in the world is in a black woman's stomach. Right? That's what they say. Not me. That's what they say. This is what the Lord said. She is hardened against her young ones. As though they were not hers. Yeah, Brenda's got a baby. Tupac told you. But then on the same no token, he in that same dear mama spirit. You see, Jake is completely destroyed. He don't know if he's coming or going. You know, he in that he in love with a stripper. You know that T Pain. Jake is destroyed. Her labor is in vain without fear. You see, because Yahweh have deprived her of wisdom. That's the first thing Jake need to understand. The woman is the weaker vessel, man. You, she ain't goddamn smart. She's smart at remembering shit. That's why Esau Edom loves her. She's smart at remembering shit and, and, and parroting shit. But when it comes to common sense and putting two and two together, that ain't her that ain't her cup of tea. You know? That ain't her forte. You know? That's your job. The Lord gave you discernment. You know? You know, that wasn't given to her. She was she's supposed to take orders. 
She's a helpmate. She's a servant, a slave unto the man. It says, because Yahweh have the, not me, Yahweh, Yahweh have deprived her, God, I read it verbatim, because God have deprived her of wisdom, neither have, have he imparted to her understanding. You see, the Lord didn't give it to her. He gave it to you to rule over her. That, that's what that's what it said in Genesis. You know, her desire was going to be unto the man and he was going to rule over her. OK, you see, I think I hit them all, man. That, that's the, that's pretty much the point, you know. But but like I said, hopefully it came together. Hopefully it came together, you know, and th that's part of the curses, man. You know, you know. You know, our women, our women are completely out of order. You know, you know, I'll leave you with this one. Deuteronomy 28 and 30. Tell me this ain't true. Tell me this ain't true. Tell me this ain't our women. And who, who allows her to do this? Who allows her to go from man to man to man to man? Have five, six different baby daddies. Seven, eight children, five, six different men. You know, no repercussions. In the ancient world and in them other societies, that wouldn't be so. It's only in this modern era, through feminism, through women's rights, women are allowed to do this type of fuckery, man. Because that's what it is. To have entanglements. And now it, it, it's applauded and, and, and when, 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 a, when, a, when a completely effeminate, effeminate man goes up there and assaults a, a, another man just on words. Okay? That's, that's, the, that's where we're at with it. Okay? You can just slap, you can just slap the shit out of uh, somebody for talking now. You know? You know, over the woman, <laughs> you know, can't be over nothing else but the woman, <laughs> you know, Deuteronomy 28 and 30. Thou shall betroth a wife and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build an house and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard and thou shalt not gather the grapes thereof. And I wanted to close with this because when you look at this spiritually, right? Yeah, she's an adulterer. She's jumping from man to man, but that shows you. That, that a lot of these men, when I watch Kevin Samuels, what did he say? Women are the number one people that leave. Because really, like the elder apostle to heart said, the man loves the woman. Because men get women. You know, they, we, we run through women. But it's only a handful of women that you truly love, that you truly make a connection with. But the, but the woman doesn't really connect with you. She doesn't bond with you like that. How can she when she's been with so many other men? She's, you know, she's connected to so many other different men. She cannot truly pair bond with you. So you build a, a strong affection towards this woman. You know, you would die for her, right? But she don't truly feel like that. She feels like that her, her shit's fleeting. You know, one minute she, she strongly desires you. The next minute she, she doesn't because what? Women are emotional, you know? But they're made to be that way. But you, but you see what I'm saying? So now, now going back to the point, uh, thou shalt build a house. You're going gonna to build a home, try to put down roots somewhere, right? Right? And then now what happened? She kicked your ass out the house. She called, she called the law on you. you. Whatever, whatever. She take you to court. She take the house. She take the children. Now you asked out. You see? You see, thou shalt plant a vineyard. Thou shalt not gather the grapes. You can't enjoy the fruits of your hands, you know? You know, and then and that ultimately just destroys Jake. He's a crouching lion. He's stooped down. You know, who shall rouse him? Jake is completely destroyed, beaten down, man. Look at Will Smith. He's a a a, a prime example of that, man. He's completely a crouching lion, man, because he trimmed his ways to seek love. He he like prime example about a man loving a woman more than a man. It's like a man loving a woman. More than a woman loves the man, if I said that wrong, Salakia, okay? You can see, like the elder said, Jada is Will's, the love of his life, man. But Jada don't feel that way, man. Jada, Jada's love of, the love of Jada's life is Tupac in, in August, you know? And, and Will can't get over that. But it is, that's the curses. That's the curses upon us, man. You know? You know? But anyway, I don't wonder about this. I, I know it was, it was long, Salakia. Hopefully it came together, you know? And, uh, hey, man, hey, seek the kingdom, man. Seek the kingdom and everything else will be added unto you. Chase the Lord. Chase Sophia. You know, chase righteousness, man. You know? The women, they gonna come. When all hell break loose, they gonna come. All right? So, hey, we're close. Shalom. Wa abad babal.